Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, U.S. Equity Strategist for S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Sector Watch, I discussed what to expect from stocks now that the S&P 500 posted a January decline that was in the bottom one-third since 1945. History shows that whenever the S&P 500 fell by 4.5% or more in price in January, the market declined an average 6% for the entire year. But all is not lost. While the 12-month performance was negative 67% of the time after a down January, the remaining 11 months recorded a price increase more than 50% of the time. So while the dour start is discouraging, a rest-of-year decline is far from certain. As goes January, so goes the year is an old Wall Street saying that indicates whether investors are confident or confused about the outlook for stocks over the remainder of the year. The adage, popularized by the Stock Traders' Almanac, implies that if the S&P 500 rises in price in January, it will continue to rise for the rest of the year and vice versa. Despite a negative start to 2016, investors may still be able to turn lemons into whiskey sours. Since 1990, while the S&P 500 posted a 12-month, January 31 to January 31, compound annual growth rate of 7.1%, an equal weighting of the three best-performing sectors in January, held until the end of the following January, posted a compound rate of growth of 8.7%. Better yet, the 10 best-performing sub-industries in January jumped an average 14.6% in the subsequent 12 months. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you again next week.